So in this problem, we're told that a car braked with a constant deceleration of 4 feet per second squared. It produced skid marks measuring 200 feet before coming to a stop. How fast was the car traveling when the brakes were first applied? So the first thing I have to recognize here is that our acceleration is going to be equal to minus 4. Because they're telling us it's decelerating at 4, so we have minus and then minus 4. So we need to find is V of t and then S of t. So our velocity function and our position function. And we can do that by finding the antiderivative of these. So let's find V of t first. So V of t is going to be the antiderivative of A of t. So what's the antiderivative of minus 4? Well, the antiderivative of a constant is just minus 4 times variable. So minus 4t, and then we got to add a constant, so c. And then now let's find um, our position function by taking the antiderivative of this. So the antiderivative of minus 4t is going to be, well, the antiderivative of t is just going to be t squared over 2. Then we're multiplying it by minus 4. So it's going to become minus 4t squared over 2. It just becomes minus 2t squared. So let's write that up here. So we have minus 2t squared plus, then we have a constant. C just represents a constant, so it's just the antiderivative of a constant is just C times your variable T. Then we also got to add plus D. And so now that we got all this, what do we do next? So what we want to do is take our velocity function, set it equal to zero, and solve for T. Because um, we're trying to find it when the velocity starts, because it's saying um, how fast was it traveling when the brakes were first applied. So we just set the velocity equal to zero and solve for T. So we know that 0 is going to be equal to minus 4t plus c. So if we move c to the other side, we'll get minus c is equal to minus 4t. Then we divide both sides by minus 4. We get t is equal to c over 4. And then what we're going to want to do is just plug c over 4 into this function for t. And then whatever value our c is, is going to be our answer. And so what you can do is just disregard um, d because we're finding it... Um, right uh, our position function is going to be equal to zero basically or we're going to set it equal to 200 but d is going to be zero because it's right when it starts so we're going to say 200 is equal to minus 2 and let's plug in t so c over 4 squared plus c times c over 4 then we don't do plus d because d is just zero in this case so let's solve so 200 is equal to minus 2 times c squared over 16 plus c squared over 4. And actually, I'm going to simplify this first. So minus 2 times c squared over 16 is just minus 1 over 8 c squared. Plus, and then this is, this is just going to be c squared over 4. And now that we got this, um, I'm going to remove all the fractions by multi multiplying both sides by 8. So we multiply both sides by 8. 200 times 8 is going to be 1,600 is equal to minus 1 over 8 times 8 is minus 1. So minus c squared plus, and then c squared over 4 times 8 is just 8 over 4 c squared, which is just 2 c squared. Then we can add these together. So this is just going to become c squared. So c squared equals 1,600. If we square root both sides, get square root of 1,600 is equal to c. And the square root of 1,600 is equal to 40. And so C is what our um, velocity is. It's how fast the car was traveling. So 40 is going to be the answer to this question.